Good morning, I'm Giuseppe Basile, I'm the trader and analyst of the blog www.fibonacci-stalking.com. This video is the first of a series of three videos in which I will uh, provide information on my trading method, the same method I use on the blog. The trading method is based on the analysis of price dynamics. In each time frame it is assumed that price changes with upwards measured moves in which price prints higher lows and higher highs as well as downwards measured moves in which price prints lower highs and lower lows. The interaction of sequences of such measures moves are uh, taking place on different time frames with their unique length and duration along, uh, along with the, the failure of such sequences determines the um, identification of reliable areas of support and resistance. The trading method uses Fibonacci retracements. This price study, however, is not used as it often happens to identify areas of convergence of several levels from uh, Fibonacci retracement, traced starting from different ring moves, uh, highs and lows, typically on the same or different time frames. Conversely, Fibonacci retracements are employed to identify, mark out and typify the same sequence sequences of upward or downwards measured movements. Particularly, three different types of movements are identified. The first type is traditional measured moves, the second type is extension measured moves, and the third type is straight up or down moves. The latter being very strong and decisive directional movements, often based on extreme emotions. For each movement, the method clearly establishes entry areas, stop loss price, and a few target levels. The method does not employ indicators. Fibonacci retracement show a paramount difference with respect to use of common indicators, which are derived from price. Indeed, while on the one hand Fibonacci retracements allow creating a complete trading plan, the classic indicators, like for instance stochastics, RSI, MACD, only uh, to mention some of them, they only offer a point in time in which it would, be, it would seem appropriate to take part into the market flow, uh, that is to enter, uh, create a new position in the market. However, indicators do, do not provide any information with regards to stop loss price and most of all profit targets. The trades generated by the trading method are based on several rules applied on the weekly, daily, 4 hours and 15 minutes time frames. Some of these rules were taught to me by mentors, while others, especially on the daily and 4 hour time frames, were derived thanks to my studies on the euro dollar in the last 3 years from 2010 to 2012. An important feature of the method is that for each trade or setup, regardless from the time frame it is generated, there are always three targets or price objectives that are very well and univoc univocally defined. The first target, target uh, zero, is used uh, to reduce the risk of a trade and it is typically very close to the entry point. When price reach target zero, the 25% of the position is removed from the market, thus reducing risk to around 60% of the initial risk of the trade. Hence, if for example you risk 1% of the account when entering the trade, like it normally happens in the conservative swing trading model portfolio, after price reach target zero, risk is about 0.6%. Target 1 is the price level at which typically the method takes the profits, that is the remaining 75% of the position, as the 25% was already taken out at target 0. Occasionally, however, and based on considerations in the current price structure defined by the interaction of the sequences of measured move on different time frames, price can get to a larger uh, level, target 2 level. As mentioned, in the, as, me, as mentioned before in my, my other videos, for example, the video explaining the biography, my experience in um, uh, technical analysis and trading of the markets, the method is based on the use of Fibonacci retracements, and 
It is particularly effective in that class of financial instruments employed by fund managers, hedge funds, CFOs to hedge risk, the so-called hedging. A hedge is an investment position intended to offset potential losses or gains that may be incurred by a companion, a companion in the investment. In simple language, a hedge is used to reduce any substantial loss or gain suffered by an individual or an organization. Among the instruments to hedge, there are essentially, certainly most of the futures contracts traded on the CME, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, like the E-mini SP500 used by hedge and mutual funds, and uh, they're used for speculation on price and hedging of long stocks holding. There is also the six C futures contract, the big EURFX currency future contract um, traded on the Globex, uh, the platform, um, the electronic uh, platform at CME. And the EURFX currency futures contract is used by industry CFOs, banks, and foreign commercial banks. On the mentioned financial instruments, the method employing Fibonacci retracements uh, works uh, very well and uh, as it, I will explain in the in the following this is due to the strong presence of uh, program trading the method uh, I use guarantee, guarantees a high reliability and expectancy for its trades especially on the euro dollar cross providing a more natural way to explain price dynamics attempting and typically succeeding in the identification of price structure which again um, is forced by the interaction of sequences of trends and counter trends in the same or higher or lower time frames the method allow uh, allows identifying failure of a trend at the beginning of a counter trend one of the distinguishing features of the method is what I call Fibonacci stalking, a proprietary technique that provides confirmation of inversion of a counter trend in the vicinity of a setup. This technique can be used with different trading approaches, and this is uh, a, a brief explanation of it. For instance, if price is approaching a setup in the vicinity of support resistance, or a trend line or even a divergent from price and an indicator but I want to underline that I'm, I do not use indicator or even when price is waiting for a cycle to complete what we can do is that we can wait that a sequence of measured move trending against the setup ends before we take action if that happens so the sequence of measured move trending against the setup in a smaller time frame uh, fails then we have a valid uh, setup and a position can be entered however if the trend in the smaller time frame does not exhaust itself be, mm, uh, then price keeps moving through the entry area <coughs> eventually piercing the predetermined stop loss level and this can be observed uh, without being involved in the market. Thus, the technique allows establishing the failure or validity of a setup with no risk at all, and so increasing confidence. <coughs> the use of Fibonacci stalking is an original contribution based on the studies between 2010 and 2012. During this period, I kept enriching the improving and improving the rule set of euro dollar as a standalone trading method. And this is the method employed in the video analysis that I offered, offer freely on my blog www.fibonacci.stalking.com and in the trades of the model portfolios I trace. The Fibonacci stalking technique can be applied to stocks with very high volume to improve the reward risk ratio for setups generated by measured swing breakout methods. I have presented this technique in June 2012 at the Traded Fest, an important yearly event in the Zanzano, north of Italy, demonstrating the improvement is possible regardless and concurrently with benefits obtainable on reliability 
working on lower time frames. When considering the features of the method uh, I'm introducing, a natural question carries out. What's the reason the, the Fibonacci stalking method works? Can the euro dollar cross market be foretold as the rules would infer? No magic here and no order in, in the universe type of explanation for the method. This is the end of, of the first video. In the second vi video of this series of three, I explain the reason why the method works. Thank you for your interest.